Medibio is a medical technology company developing a circadian heart rate variability technology to assist in the diagnosis of depression and other mental health disorders and chronic stress. I'm Carolyn Herbert and joining me at the CEO sessions in Sydney is the company's executive director, Chris Knorr. Chris, welcome to FNN. Uh, thank you for having me. Now, can you start by giving us an introduction to Medibio? Okay, as you said, we're a medical technology company. We've got uh, two distinct streams to the business. Uh, firstly, we aim to uh, have the first FDA approved evidence-based or objective test for depression and other key mental health disorders, as opposed to the current uh, practice, which is a sort of subjective pen and paper test. And then using the same technology, which is looking at uh, basically architecture of your heart rate curve while you're asleep, we've developed a tool which can diagnose your stress levels and the impact that stress is having on you. So Chris, how does the diagnostic test work and what is it designed to detect? What we're effectively doing is taking a snapshot of your autonomic nervous system by the architecture of your heart rate curve while you're asleep. The research started in the University of Western Australia about 15 years ago. They noticed uh, in a study they were doing with mentally ill people and looking for sleep disorders, some distinct waveforms in each, uh, for each type of illness. Uh, that then progressed to a data collection exercise. So what we've got is we've now developed some machine learning algorithms which will actually look at these waveforms in your heart rate while you're asleep and put you in a box of normal, depressed, depression, anxiety, anxiety, and then a similar set of um, machine learning algorithms, which weren't possible a couple of years ago, to uh, diagnose your stress levels. And has the technology been trialled and proven? Uh, internally, yes. Uh, there have been sort of three peer-reviewed papers written by the original inventors. One of those uh, involves some blind testing where they're getting around about 80% accuracy. Uh, there has also been a drug test done where the results haven't been published. Again, they're getting better than 80%. At the moment, we are just starting that work. We're starting a study, I think it got ethics approval yesterday, or might have been the day before, with Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine in the US. And we've also started a trial with the uh, Ottawa University, and it's those trials that will, A, externally validate the technology, but more importantly, provide the data we need for our FDA submission to get FDA approval. And Chris, who will be the first customers for the test? Um, okay, so I'll go to our stress product, which is sort of not the medical route. On, on the stress product, uh, we don't need FDA approval. It's not covered by the regulators, so we can and are commercialising now. We've signed an agreement with a large Australian corporate with over 10,000 staff. It'll be an initial trial, and then assuming the trial goes well, they'll roll out to their staff members. We've also signed an agreement with uh, a wellness company in Perth called Vital, Com Vital Communications. Uh, they have also got their first customer, which is a, a multinational with about 200,000 staff. It'll initially start with their Western Australian staff, then roll out across Australia as we trial this. Uh, we're also at the pointy end with a couple of you know, big corporates, um, mainly sort of big insurers and wellness companies. Our, our go-to-market strategy for the stress test is we're not going to put 70 salespeople out on the ground and try to sell this to the corporates will partner with the wellness companies. So, you know, hopefully in the next month, you'll see some announcements of these big partnerships. And how will the test be delivered? Uh, okay, so with the corporate test, it's app-based. So what will happen is you'll get an ECG monitor given to you as part of the test. You'll put that monitor on. You'll download our app on your phone and that uh, app will guide you through syncing the monitor with your phone. The monitor sends the heart rate data direct up to the cloud. Uh, all our algorithms sit on the cloud, it's costing us 0.1 of a cent every time we run one of these tests and then that will automatically shoot your stress test result back to the phone and also there's a series of sort of interventions or treatments tailored specific to your stress level. Uh, with the corporate what they will actually see is a series of dashboards with sort of de-identified aggregated data so from the 100 staff we've tested 70% were in the moderate stress category, 10% were in the serious category. So uh, corporate stress test delivered via the phone app. Uh, in the medical route, it will be a pathology model. So in the US at the moment, uh, you have to get the three-day heart monitoring for say a suspected cardiac arrhythmia. You go to a clinic, they fit you with a monitor. You then use that monitor for three days, return it, and our delivery mechanism in the medical market be much the same. And Chris, now to financials. What's your cash position and are you fully funded? Okay, so at the moment we've got about 2.5 million in the bank. Uh, we've got about $1.8 million coming back from an R&D rebate. Takes us up to about $4.3 million. We're burning around about uh, $800,000 a quarter, so we're fully funded through to the first quarter of 2017. And uh, what, uh, in that time, we'll meet a number of key milestones. First should be FDA approval of our depression test. Uh, secondly, we should have these uh, key agreements with wellness companies that I was alluding to signed up. 
we'll also be generating revenue and, and showing the ramp up of the business model. So you know that should let us, um, you know, if we need to, raise some more money, probably late 16, early 17, and hopefully at a significant uplift to the current share price. And finally, Chris, what are you hoping to achieve in the next 12 months? Uh, next 12 months, so I want to come back here in 12 months and basically we, if we haven't got FDA approval, we're very close to FDA approval. We'll have our validation study with options completed, the results out. We'll have three or four key multinational wellness corporations signed up. We'll be generating revenue and um, being able to come back and tell you, you know, what that revenue is and, and where we aim to get that revenue in the next two to three years. Chris Canor, thanks for the introduction to Medibio. Thank you very much.